Road from the historic East Lake neighborhood where the city is trying to limit the ways you can get in and out trying to prevent and solve crimes. Your reporter Tristan Rupert was the first to tell us about that safety program. He joins us now live with an update on those barriers. Tristan. General, many residents in the historic East Lake community are still struggling to get used to perhaps the limited number of ways in and out of this area. Several are trying to do what they can to help the city in their effort to combat crime in their own community. That includes artist Marquise Tucker. He's one of three local artists that actually painted all the barriers right here in East Lake. It felt like I had a sense of duty because we are trying to improve the neighborhood that I am currently living in and just having something tangible to see as well as be a part of is definitely really cool for me. Tucker says everything from the colors to the chosen subjects on the barriers symbolize something. The colors were chosen to grab attention and pay homage to the neighborhood's Afrocentric roots. You'll also see children and peace lilies on the barriers to promote peace and show that gun violence will affect this generation's youth. The city has also added other pieces in an effort to beautify the blockages. It was important that when people walked outside of their front doors that they saw something that they enjoyed and that was pleasing to the eye. And so the pottery and the plants were just some icing on the cake to help make sure that this place didn't feel like a cage. Lumpkin says public works crews have been busy collecting trash in the East Lake area. And that the city is collecting data on everything happening in the community. She says in the next few weeks, you'll see more speed bumps and four way stops added to further calm traffic. And while some may be inconvenienced, Marquise Tucker is just thankful the city is taking action. It does feel like the eyes are on us now, like we're being seen as a community versus just, you know, being like a stain, if you will. And uh, I'm glad that something's happening. Now, this is the sixth week of this pilot safety program that's been rolled out. Again, they're working to collect da data and hopefully uh, are going to be able to release some tangible results as to what's gone on here, the amount of public dumping the community's seen, perhaps the number of arrests, or even if the number of shot spot notifications has gone down in the weeks ahead. And, of course, once we get that information, we'll share it with you on air and online. Reporting in East Lake, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side. Birmingham Police.